Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Chris Ray. I'm with InfoSec for Humans, where I help you level up your cybersecurity career. And a part of leveling up your cybersecurity career is getting that career. And a part of getting into cybersecurity is getting a broad base of experience and exposures and learning all sorts of things about a lot of different things in tech. Today, we're going to look at Linux. If you're new to Linux, if you've never connected to Linux, this video is for you. So hang in there. Give me a minute. So if you haven't picked up on it already, um, checking out my other channels, which by the way, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe right now. I make a lot of videos, uh, particularly like this one, um, where I talk about how to lab, what to lab, what to learn, uh, all the things that I was asking when I was trying to get into cybersecurity a few years ago that I really didn't have a solid answer for. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be posting things like this where I can help you figure those questions out. So uh, like I was saying, if you're new to uh, Linux, if you haven't, played around on it at all, or if you've you've started to dabble, maybe you did it like I did, which was, uh, you know, stood up Oracle VirtualBox and then downloaded free VMs. I did everything free, uh, which is perfectly fine. You don't need to pay for anything. But uh, the problem with standing up VMs locally is you learn an awful lot about how to provision VMs using a desktop hypervisor. But sometimes you don't learn as much about uh, the actual Linux operating system because you spend so much time uh, building the virtual environment and not that much time working in it. So what I'm a fan of is um, uh, overthewire.org, um, other things like this. There's, there's probably, um, I'm not going to call them competitors, there's probably other websites like this, but uh, I'm a fan of overthewire.org, especially their Bandit War Game, because if we click into it here, uh, Bandit says right at the top, this is aimed at absolute beginners, and they really do. They've done a great job of starting at level zero, not assuming that you know how to connect to a Linux machine over the internet, and they teach you everything that you need to know to build up, and by the time you're done, you know, all the way down here at level, whatever it is, 33, by the time you're done, you can navigate a Linux operating system, a Linux machine, you can do what you need to do, you're not gonna be a professional, but you're gonna be capable. And I think that's the main thing. When you're, when you're talking about becoming a cybersecurity uh, professional, you need to be capable in a lot of different things and Bandit will get you there. So in this first video, I'm gonna show you level zero. And if this is something you're looking for, uh, maybe you hit Google and you found this video because you're like, I can't figure out this level zero stuff whatsoever. Great, give me a thumbs up, let me know in the comments below. Uh, if this is your first time seeing Over the Wire, let me know in the comments below, let me know what you're thinking. If you want more of this, let me know that as well. I can uh, spend some more time building out these videos. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it. So clicking, you can read all this here. There is some some info, some useful info in here. You know, it tells you uh, if you don't know a command, which is the purpose here. If you don't know something, how do you learn it? Uh, they tell you to use man, type man, and then the name of the command. That's, um, you know, it pulls up the manual for that command in Linux. Now, not every command will have a man page for it. Uh, just be aware of that. Sometimes they are there, sometimes they're not. If they're not, head to a search engine, use Google, uh, figure out what you can. Now, I will say, try and learn as much as you can from the man pages, not from Google. Um, reading the man pages, learning to use the man pages, and, and going there first is a great habit to start. So let's review what uh, level zero looks like. And when I say they started at level zero, I mean they started at level zero. They're going to first teach you how to connect to a Linux machine over the internet using SSH. And if you haven't done that yet, you're going to need a terminal emulator. Uh, my preferred terminal emulator, it's free, it's called MOBA Xterm. I love it. You can do tabs, uh, just like a browser. It's got other tools built in that we don't need for the labs right now. But uh, as you progress down this Linux journey or any other command line journey, there are useful tools in there that, uh, that you'll love. So get a terminal emulator. If you don't have one, Putty's a popular one. Mobile Xterm is my favorite. Download that, install it, and then you can start this lab. So it tells you to log into the game using SSH. The host to which you need to connect is bandit.labs.overthewire.org. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Control C. Uh, it says the username is bandit0 and the password is bandit0. So on this, uh, you literally say SSH is the program we're going to use, username bandit0 at, and then that URL, paste that in there. But there's a catch, there's a gotcha, on port 2220. If you don't know anything about SSH yet, know this, SSH by default 
tries to connect to port 22, TCP 22. Uh, this says it's listening on port 2220, which is not port 22. So let's see, helpful reading. Uh, if we open these up, uh, let's see. This looks like a Wikipedia page breaking down where it came from, what it is. Here it tells you the TCP port is 22. This looks useful if you've never heard of it at all. Uh, it will define what SSH is. This says how to use SSH. Let's check this out. Uh, there you go, download terminal emulator. We've done that. Uh, we've got how to run. So it tells you SSH, username at URL, test the connection. Oh, something jumped out at me there. So if you want to specify a port, add TAC P0000, replace 0000 with the desired port number. So there you go. Coming back here, we want to specify a port. It's telling us that. So we want TAC P space 2220. We're going to enter. And there you go. You can see it went right in. Now, my... Um, my connection went right in. It didn't ask me for a password, and that's because I'm using MOBA. MOBA gives you the option to store the password to use the next time you connect to a server. I evidently collect, I clicked yes. Um, it will prompt you, if this is your first time connecting, it'll ask you for bandit zero as the password, and you would enter that, and then you would, you would sign in here. So there you go. That is connecting to a Linux server over the internet using SSH. Uh, if you haven't done that at all, this is the first time how to do it. This is your first time doing it. This is how you do it. When I thought of building these uh, videos out of the bandit labs, the bandit levels, I thought of them as those, uh, you know, those Saturday morning videos, those Saturday morning cartoons that we would watch. There was always a moral to the cartoon, a moral to the story. And the moral to this story or the key takeaways are uh, we're going to be using SSH, which is a protocol to connect uh, to these Linux machines over the internet. Um, SSH listens to uh, four connections on TCP 22 by default, but you can specify a different port as we found out using the TAC P and then the port number to connect to the Linux machine. So there you have it. Level zero bandit on overthewire.org. I hope you found this useful. I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if, if you're new here, like I said in the beginning, subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. All of those things tell me, uh, they're, they're feedback cues. They, they tell me what you like, what you don't like, and they help me tailor my content to what you want to see. Again, my name is Chris Ray. I'm with InfoSec for Humans, where I help you level up your cybersecurity career.